Hello, this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel. Please subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a not so popular subject and it's the subject of explaining hell, part number one. Uh, we're going to give some definitions of the word hell also, but watch these clips and then I'll be right back. That I seen, bro, was in the Bible. It was unfolding. Like, I, as I'm in hell, bro, I see people in the fire crying. Clean, like, asking for forgiveness, bro. And it was too late. And it was, it too, was late. too late for them. This is not like, and I don't like know that. nothing. I don't, I don't read the yeah, Bible. Don't read I don't the know Bible nothing about that, bro. Like, but on, like, as I was down there, bro, like, the devil literally jumped from his kingdom and his wings. Like, I saw the devil wings. And his face, it ain't no, like, no, he don't have horns. Like, he's a regular person, bro. Like, over and over. And as I grew, the rejection began to grow. What is wrong with me? And so I believe that the only answer for me was to end my life. I walked um, to my mother's room thinking I don't want anyone to see me because I'm so determined to end my life, to end the void, to end the suffering, to end the loneliness that nothing was going to stop me. I began crying out and I began screaming out to God, God, forgive me. And the gun went off. My lungs began to fill up with blood. My ears, I began to become deaf, very slowly, faintly become deaf. My eyes became blind. My eyes were open and I became blinded. And I knew that death was gripping my soul. And then all of a sudden, I felt myself, my soul, leave my body. And I instantly began falling and falling. And at that moment, I knew I was no longer in control of my destiny. And I ended up in a place that was complete torment. And my body was burning. I no longer was lonely. I was no longer depressed. I became depression. I became loneliness. I became a tormented being of fear. And as I began looking out and I saw all of these other people and everybody was screaming in pain, the, the mutual thing that everyone shared there was their desire to scream out to everybody on earth, do not come here. Acknowledge that life is about Jesus Christ. Eternity is real and hell is real and heaven is real and how you live your life will determine where you go. And everybody cried out that their loved ones would hear the truth. Now, as you heard from the video, you don't want to go to hell. Hell is a terrible place. So when we look in the Bible, we need to see what hell actually means. So I'll have some uh, definitions here for you and some words in the Hebrew and the Greek. The first one is the Hebrew word Sheol, and it's often translated as hell. Now, mostly Sheol can mean the grave, but it can also be a place of punishment for the wicked, okay? So, uh, it's never used, though, as the final destination of the wicked, okay? Only the grave and only a temporary holding place. Its substitute for the New Testament is the Greek word Hades, all right? And Hades is also a realm of the dead, okay? Now, it can be uh, the place of the wicked, or it can be also the place of the righteous, all right? Tartaro. Tartaro is like a deep abyss of hell, okay? And there are some instances where it talks about demons being in chains, okay? And so that's what Tartaro is, and then there's Gehenna. Now, Gehenna is the final place of punishment after 
the resurrection and after the judgment, okay? So when it talks about eternal hellfire and eternal torment, the word is Gehenna. Let's look at some scriptures and then I'll be done. Matthew 13, 41 through 43. The Son of Man will send out his angels and will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right. So those those are very important to really consider. All right. Uh, Luke 16, 19 through 23. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores, and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. All right, so continuing on with this uh, parable. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side and the rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So here's, you know, two examples that talks about hell. And as you heard in the previous video, uh, hell is a place of torment, weeping and gnashing of teeth. And so that's why we urge everybody to please, you know, get in Christ, be right with God, repent, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord, and live faithfully, walk in the fruit of the Spirit. And those are the things that you have to do in order to be in God's kingdom.